Laguna Blue here and I have undressed her. If you want to see my like review unboxing of her, um, it's in my previous video so go check that out. It's like my last live stream that I did on this channel. But anyway, I'm going to be redressing her and restyling her today. Um, I just wanted to try on one outfit that she came with that I haven't shown you guys her in yet. Um, it's a little swimsuit that comes in her um, set and then I'm going to figure out her hair situation. She's got her stock hair right now but I know that I want to change it and I've got a couple of hair clips in because I was trialing different color options for like different flowers and then I have some rainbow high clothes that I'm going to probably redress her in. Um, also if you're wondering why my hair's like looking a bit crazy, um, I just washed it and I blow dried it but it's still like drying at the ends a bit but I thought I'd just chuck it out for this video. Anyway let's redress her into the swimsuit she comes with. I already showed you the swimsuit but I haven't shown you her wearing it so we'll pop her in her swimsuit and then we'll decide what we're going to do with her because I don't, sorry this is like a bit mean, it's not really, who cares. I don't really like neon colors and I don't like the outfit she came wearing. I would not, with my dolls, I like to have them in things that either I like resonate with or in outfits that I think that I would at least wear myself or think look good. And I don't like, like maybe some of my Monster High dolls outfits, I wouldn't wear that exact whole outfit. I wouldn't have styled that myself, but I like each individual piece and I like each individual piece in the outfit for them. With Laguna's original outfit, like, I would never wear this thing. And then where's the little pants? Like, I would never pick this up. Even if it was on clearance on sale, this is not something that resonates with me. So I'm not going to keep her wearing that because I just don't care for it. Um, this little swimsuit is quite cute, but I feel like the colours are so random for her. Um, I like mermaid print stuff. I have, like, pants that are mermaid print, and I think it's a cute pattern. Um... I just do think that this is such a random coloured swimsuit. I feel like it should have been pastel or something or like white or something. I don't know, to match her colours better. But that's what she looks like in the swimsuit. I'm not going to tie up the wool halter because it's a tiny little bow and I'm going to take it straight off. But she does look really cute in the swimsuit. Like I think that is actually cuter than I expected even. Um, but it's not as good as it can get. I think she can, I think we can do better. So luckily, um, I have some rainbow high clothes and some monster high clothes from another Laguna that I'm going to pop her into and we'll see how it goes. So I do have the Dot Dead Gorgeous Laguna's dress um, and I was thinking about it for her but I think no. Um, I have some signature Laguna pieces because I, I'll tell you the story. Can these legs come off? No, I don't think they can. I always just broke her leg trying to rip it off. I don't think these legs are detachable. Which sucks because she's got these fins on and I like can't get these fins out. I know that some people have taken these fins. Oh, I got the fin off. Oh, yes. That's cool. They're kind of very interesting. They're like hard plastic. They've, I don't know why, but these fins really satisfy me. Anyway, they're very different to my old Laguna's fins. Um, I don't have Signature Laguna, but one time what happened was I was trying to buy Signature Laguna online and the doll that arrived was, I paid for like her to be in mint condition, beautiful with all her accessories, everything. And the doll that arrived, um, she came wearing these two pieces from original Laguna's outfit. So I'll reuse these today, which are by the way, broken and cut up and like, it's odd. Um, and not only that, but she came like with all her limbs missing. Um, her face had been like painted over in like a scrappy way. Um, she was just absolutely trashed and it was not the Laguna that I had paid for, um, even though it was Laguna OG original wave, um, it was not to the standard that I had paid for and that the seller had agreed to sell to me. It was not the Laguna from the pictures. I was just so disappointed. Um, but it did mean that I ended up with a Laguna outfit um, and a Laguna head that I don't even know what to do with because it's so trashed. This is very tight to get on her. These new dolls are a lot larger than the original dolls, um, but I'm going to pull it up because I think that the pink swimsuit is cute yes okay I'm gonna pull it up all the way I think I know what I'm gonna do I just it just came to me just then I've been thinking about it ever since my last video I've been like oh what should I put her in because I know that her original outfit that she came in doesn't resonate with me this is so tight on her and the pants look he just ripped but it's fine because the pants were ripped anyway because someone was trying to do some sort of asymmetrical moment with her which I don't like um, let's force this up. Oh, okay. This is doable. 
Okay, so I've got the top on and it's cute. Let's try and Velcro the back if we can. Can it fit? Can it fit? Please fit. Um, I've really been enjoying looking at other people's restyles of G3 Monster High because the clothes just don't really resonate with me. And I don't mean that in a mean way. Like, I'm not trying to be like, oh, I hate G3. Like, obviously, I purchased Laguna because I think she's cute. <gasps> See, that's cute. And then I think I'll leave that on even though it's, like, ripped. It kind of, like, adds to, like, the grungy, like, OG Monster High vibe of, like, shredded aesthetics and stuff. Okay. I'm going to leave that like this. I think later on I will sew together this halter. So that it fits again because someone has ripped it and I'll just sew a new black ribbon on so that the halter can tie again. But she has like a little top so far. Now I want to get her a skirt. I think that I have a rainbow high skirt that will be cute on her. It's like a little wrap. Um, I have all my like rainbow high clothes in this bag. I'm just going to have a bit of a rummage. I have so many things that are cute. Like this would be really cute for like Frankie. I think they'd look really good in it. Mm, I'm looking for like a white skirt. I have a white skirt that originally came off on Margot. This one. It has like pearl trim on it and I feel like it'd really suit Laguna because it'd just be like a little wrap waist thing. It might be a bit big on her though so maybe I'll have to do some adjusting but let's see how this fits. I did try rainbow high pants on her and it is it is a very large fit but I think that this is something that I will figure out and make it work. It's very large on her. Oh my gosh, it's going to work though. I'm going to make it work. This is going to be so cute. I'm going to make it work. How am I going to do this? I think I might just pin it in the back somehow. I kind of want to make it shorter somehow. I might just... make it tight on her waist and then the front can just be like that this is hair is in the way i think i'll just do it like this so it kind of fluffs off at the front it's got a bit of cute dimension um and i like the the white ties in with the white of her carry shells and her pearl clips um i might use her belt to hold it in place because i don't hate this little bum bag i wouldn't have chosen it but i think it it goes with her and it's her style, so I think that I'll put the bum bag back on because the colours match and it'll cinch that waist together and I'll use it as kind of like a belt. Um, do I want this jacket on her? Yeah, I do. It's cute. Do I want anything else on her? I want to give her some shoes and I think I know which shoes I'm going to give her. She's very lucky because she's getting the shoes that are one of my favourite shoes in my collection, but it'll tie in some other things, so it's all going to work out. Cute, cute, cute. Um, now, with her hair, I'm not going to, like show me redoing her hair in this video um but i'll make like a community post and you'll see her on my Flickr with her new hairdo pretty much with her hair i i do like curly hair on a doll like with some of my other mermaid dolls for example my holy grail girl <coughs> miss my scene masquerade matters chelsea she has curly hair and i think curly hair is really pretty for a mermaid doll like all of my aerials i keep the curl and like this is a nice like, there's nothing I have against this texture, but obviously she's got box hair. It's quite frizzy and stuff. And um, I've seen some... And also, the thing is, I do like the curly hair on Laguna. Like, OG Laguna has that curl, and I think it's gorgeous on her. But on this Laguna, I've seen restyles, and my favourite restyles of her all have straight hair. So I think that her with, like, sleek hair, like, really resonates with me for some reason. And so I'm going to go ahead and give her... Um, straight hair so I will be boiling washing it and I'll show you guys how that looks later because I'm not going to do that in this live stream because it's not going to dry in time uh, I'm just trying to struggle straight get her hoodie and her arm back on because there's no way her hoodie would have fitted like the g1 hoodie is like for a skinny adult and this has like a fin that's not removable on her arm I do like that these dolls are very sturdy though like I feel like I can really like push it and they're gonna like not break And then I'll just roll the sleeve back down. Do I put the right sleeve on the right side? Yeah. Is that the right arm? Yes. Oh my gosh, this is going to be cute. I am excited for this because it's like, she's kind of like got some G1 inspo. She's the new doll. I like that I've pulled in a little bit of like rainbow high to redress her because I really like when people like 
getting creative with other doll brands clothes on other dolls I just think it's fun and also I really like a white skirt something about a white skirt like really resonates with me I didn't have a plan of what I would do with this white skirt from Margot um but I'm really glad that I have it for Laguna now because I think it suits her I did have the opportunity to have some Margot shoes um but I sent them to someone else which is whoopsie um did I keep those shoes I don't think I did because I at the time I didn't really see a purpose for them which kind of sucks because now now would have been a great time to use them but it's okay um let me find what I'm looking for I think that I have the perfect shoes oh this bag for her oh does she does she carry that I have some really cute rainbow high bags so I'll pull that out for now and I can always think about it she might be more of a Dior girly I have this Dior bag that she could look really cute with. I do want to give her a handbag that isn't this. Not that I dislike this. I think this is really cute and I love that it opens and stuff. Um, but it's neon and you can tell like I like more of a pastel hue for my dolls most of the time. Or like a jewel tone, if anything. Like I'm not really I'm not really as into the neons. It just doesn't resonate. Also, does anyone keep all these like rainbow high boxes? I have all these rainbow high boxes because I like to use them for things like, I don't know, I just feel like they're, they're I just feel like they're cool. Mmm. Would she look good in any of Chanel's stuff? I feel like she'd look really pretty in Chanel's dress, but I think also that everyone look, would look pretty in that dress. Just checking through to see if there's any other, like, doll clothes that I would prefer on her. Just in case I want to swap her out, because, like, once I kind of dress a doll, she stays in it. She's definitely getting Margot's towel. That is definitely for her with, the, like, pastels. That would resonate with me. It's a lot about like what resonates with me and my vision for the doll. Because like sometimes I know that something would look cute on a doll, but it's not like my vision. Um I wanted her to have like a mermaidy influence still. Um I wanted her to have these crocs, I think, in sport mode. Um as much as I love um Leela in the crocs, um Lila has other shoes that are really, really pretty, and I am happy to have her wearing other shoes instead. Whereas these Crocs, I feel like just give me monster high. Oops, no, come back here. These Crocs give me exactly what I need for this monster high girl. I really like that they can share shoes. It's like stunning to me. Yeah, because that ties into like the black up here. Oh my gosh, it's coming to better. It's coming together better than I thought. I'm very, very happy. Oh, this is perfect. I was worried of, like, what pants I'd give her because I don't have a Monster High G1 outfit that has, like, the complete pants and everything. But this is perfect. And also, I don't have the shoes for G1. But also, the G1 shoes are kind of, like, I think they're a little bit smaller than the new feet. Whereas these fit perfectly and they have a little bit of edge, but they also tie into like the mermaidy OG stuff at the top. Mm -hmm. I'm stoked. Okay, I really need to fit this off camera because it'll take me a little bit of time to like either sew it. Um, but let's give it a shot right now with the um, bum bag and see if that ties it together in the way that like makes me happy. I want it to fit quite slim to the body. I don't want it to be too, too poofy. So let's see how we go. I think that I'll have the detail of the skirt on one side and then I'll have the bum bag on the other. Yeah, okay, this is this is holding together. It's vibes. I like it. This roughly thing is like very large, but um I'm not hating it. I'm going to leave her earrings as is. Um they're just plain blue. I would have preferred them to be white, to be honest, just because the fish bone would look better as, like, white, like, because bones are white. And I feel like if this was white, it would look better because I feel like it would look more like a pearl. But that's okay. Um, let's kind of even her outfit out and see what we've got so far. Put her hoodie on flat. I'm so happy with this restyle. This probably is, like, my favourite restyle I've ever done so far. And this I know I'm not a restyle king. Like, some people do some really, really cool restyles. Um, I'm not as into, like, with restyling. I don't like to sew the new outfit from scratch because, to me, that's, like, completely restyling. I want this to be, like, a redress rather than, like, a making her own clothes. Here's how she's looking. 
and I'm stoked. I feel like, what's that, what's that account called? Diet Plastic? I feel like that. I feel like I'm so cool right now. Let's put our fins back on the right way. They have like designated holes so you can't really like mess it up because the pegs won't line up otherwise. So this is this side. Oh, something that I do dislike about the new Laguna is her legs. You can see they're already getting scratched and I've only had her for like two days, but her legs get scratched if you rub them against each other or if they bump each other, which sucks because this paint comes off so easily. If anyone has any hacks or like any setting spray I could use to like set it so it doesn't move as much, I would really appreciate that. Okay, now with Laguna's hair, let's take it down and chat about it because I have some visions. I know that I want it to be straight. And I put a couple of hair clips in because I was like, mm, not sure what color hair clip to give her. I do really like the little pearl berets that she comes with. Um, but then she also has like different colors. And I was like, maybe I could use these flower clips to tie in different colors. Obviously, I'm like a big fan of the flower clips. I don't know if you can see, but a lot of the dolls behind me have recently been gifted flower clips. I just think a flower in the hair is very pretty. It reminds me of Ariel when Ariel has the pink flower in her hair. Um, my favorite Mycene doll has a flower in her hair. Laguna originally comes with a flower in her hair, like signature Laguna from Wave 1. So I just think a flower in the hair is like the perfect hair accessory. If you're not going to wear a tiara, you should wear a flower, in my opinion. Well, that goes for most of my dolls. Some of my Monster High dolls obviously don't suit a flower, but Venus McFlytrap does. So she has one, and she's the only one that really suits it. But I think that um, Laguna would also suit it. It's just that, like, I'm not going to go put a flower on Rebecca Steen because it doesn't suit her. Anyway, um, this little teal clip matches the teal of her hair over here. It's the same kind of color of teal. I've got yellow because yellow is my favorite color and also her hair is like blonde yellow, like yellow yellow. So that's cute. Um, I tried this blue one because I just felt like um, it tied in with the colors of like some of the clothes she originally came with, but I think let's, let's can that because um, although it's pretty and it suits her tones and stuff, I'm not gonna dress her in those clothes. It did tie in with the, ooh, it did tie in with her skin tone down here though. Okay, it's back in the running. Okay, what else? I had this pink one because it like literally perfectly matched her skin tone, but I don't like that actually because it's like her hair shouldn't have accessories that are a skin tone. I just didn't like that as much. And then I also had this purple clip uh, and this purple clip matches obviously her purple hair from over here. Like that's the same kind of color of purple. Um, I'm not sure still. Um, I wish I had a white clip almost just so that it would be more of a contrast. Um, also actually another reason I liked the pink clip was because it reminded me a little bit of her G1 hair clip because her clip in G1 is pink. Anyway, I'm not 100% sure, so feel free to leave me a comment and let me know which flower you think Laguna suits the most. But I'm just going to sit here now and undo her hair. I'm very happy with her outfit, so we can focus on her hair now. Um, this is cool. I'm taking out the cuff from her hair, um, that like sea urchin looking one. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. If anyone knows for sure, please let me know. I thought it was supposed to be sea urchins just because of like the spiky shape, but it's such a random little like hair accessory. I do think it's cool, but um, it's not, I don't think it's the vibe that I'm going for. Although I do like that it's black and it ties in with the black that I've now added to her. Um, I'm gonna pull it off. Um, as you can tell by the restyle that I've done, it's like pink, blue, black, and white. Like it's very one color. Um, I like my dolls to have a more cohesive color theme and Laguna was getting a little too crazy for me. Um, with all the like pastels that were going on here, like the neons with the pastels. It was just very colorful. I understand that the new generation of Monster High is um, marketed towards a younger audience, um, but I am not that younger audience. So I just wanted to redress her to suit me because this one's my one. But if you have a Laguna and you don't want to redress her, I would not judge because she's your doll and do what, do what you want with her. I kind of was like oh I should probably take some photos of her in her OG outfit before I like take it all apart and stuff and then I was like no nah, don't care there are gonna be other people that take really nice photos of her in her original outfit that are probably gonna be better photos than mine and because it doesn't resonate with me I'm not going to do that I'm going to take photos of her in the outfit that does resonate with me so how many hair ties now when I got this doll 
honestly, her hair was really soft. She seems to have little to no glue. I mean, not glue, um, gel in her hair. Like, I can't feel any crunchiness at all. Um, obviously, this generation has no glue at all. So there is, oh, there's like a lot of hair that's coming out. There's no glue in her head, which is stunning. This is a giant elastic band. I wonder how I'm going to reuse that because, okay, top tip, don't ever throw away the plastic elastic bands that come with your dolls. They're always the strongest ones and they last the best. Oh my gosh, she has so much hair. Let's check her rooting now that I can. She seems pretty thickly rooted. <gasps> Is that a center part? Oh my gosh, she has a center part. So she was... She had her hair in a ponytail, but she has a center part. Well, she's 100% getting a center part in then. Because I love a center part. I just think it's superior. I just think it looks better on all my dolls. Okay, so I'm going to split her hair into that center part. And she can have either her hair out or her hair in pigtails. Now, that center part does not go all the way down. It kind of curves towards the back. Let me just separate it a little better. Oh no, it doesn't curve. So it goes to about here, which is like the crown of your head. She has a decent center part. The center part doesn't go all the way back. Let me, I'm just saying center part, center part, center part. Let me show you. So obviously center part, rooted, rooted, rooted. It's rooted all the way through the yellow. It's not gonna be very focused on camera, but believe me that all of this yellow, you can kind of see, is center part rooted. And then where the yellow stops, she becomes like not rooted with that center parting and it just becomes the rest of her hair to me that says um that i should just make her hair out with the center parting but not put it into pigtails because although i could hide the pigtails at the back like the messiness of it not having a center part i feel like hair out is very pretty and i think that i have a lot of dolls with pigtails you know my rainbow high girls pigtails a lot of my favorites have that and um it's time to switch it up she's just gonna have her hair out also ariel has her hair out so that <laughs> that's a lot of my reasoning as well as like other mermaid dolls because she's like more of a mermaid doll for me these little berets are so cute and i might put them back into her hair i'm kind of tossing it up because i really like the flower in the hair but i also really like the pearls these like pearl berets and i like that they are a nod to her like og outfit um and also they tie in with the skirt that she's wearing really nicely because the skirt she's wearing also has, um, like she's got white pearls on the edge of her skirt. And also her necklace is white cowrie shells, which ties in very nicely again. I am going to take these little front money pieces out, but um, I don't want to lose the center parting of those. But it'll be pretty easy to keep that in because they are like separate colors, so it's clear. Can you hear that? The sun is shining outside. There are cicadas. It, can you hear the cicadas? Oh, that makes me really happy. I'm very excited for summer. The sound of cicadas is like, makes me stoked. Okay, so that's one more of those little elastic bands. She has little elastic bands holding her money pieces like separately at the front. Should I clean the fuzz off the elastic band? These are like smaller ones, cute. I'll hang on to them, not necessarily for Laguna, but like for someone in the future. Someone will be appreciative. Laguna was too, but like, no, the more I fiddle with her, the better she looks in my opinion. I'm, I'm really into her. Her outfit's so cool with the Crocs. I've seen some people wear, um, like give her some like fishnetty socks to go with the Crocs, but I like her bare feet in the Crocs. Tell me what you think. Do you think I should give her a pair of socks to wear with these Crocs? I think it looks cool without. Oh, I could give her a pair then. Tell me your thoughts. I'm, not, I'm like on the fence about that one. Okay, let's take out this piece. <laughs> what are you guys up to today? After this, I'm going to go and do an assignment. That's my plan. But I wanted to like also do a YouTube video today. And I was like, oh, you know what? I'll just, I'll just do the fun thing first. Not to like procrastinate or anything but more just like get one thing done and then more things will start getting done that's my mindset for today i will definitely get my assignment done though because like i have to it's the other elastic band and now her hair is out i'm going to give it a brush if i can find my hairbrush this is the hairbrush i'm going to use it's 
an aerial hairbrush because that's how it is out here. I'm going to give her a brush and then I'm going to boil wash her straight. But it's just going to be like straight, normal, like with no hairstyle. It's not going to be like interesting. But I like that for her, like simple and sleek. Just finding her center part as best as I can. There we go. And I'll boil wash her with the center part so that it like solidifies that parting and makes it like very obvious and makes sure it stays. Just put a little bit of this on this side. Really trying to make sure that the back of this center parting is like separated nicely because I don't think it has been before because it's been a ponytail. That's enough hair on each side. Okay, and then this at the bottom here is where the hair just goes into the back. So I think that with the hair that doesn't have a center parting, I'm just going to let it all like lie back. But the front pieces, I'll like boil wash them like front ways. So they go flat. Her hair is very tangly. I don't know if that's just mine because I've been like flinging her around. I haven't really though, so. But she has like knots in her hair and stuff. Um, doesn't seem like too much hair is coming out though. It seems like it's pretty like securely rooted, which is good because, you know, the previous ones had glue to do this and I really don't like the glue. And so I'm glad that they've figured out a method to do it without the glue. I might put a little bit of detangling spray in and I might also flatten down this hair because it's getting really large. It's kind of fun though. Wait, that was the sprayer. Mmm, I love the smell of sun bum. And now Laguna gets to smell like that too. Most of my dolls smell like that. I just use that not only on myself, but like as a styling product for my dolls. I just think it's nice. It also smells good. It works well. It conditions, it adds shine. It just makes everything so nice and smooth. Okay, let's deal with this big ball of like frizz now. I shouldn't have done the top first. I always do from the bottom first, but I don't know, I just got really excited. I will still boil wash her. I just like to brush it out before I boil wash generally. Um, I just think it's going to make the boil wash smoother. And also I want to show you guys like a vibe because I won't be able to boil wash her and get her to dry in this video. I'd love to show you just like a vibe of how she'll end up. Her hair is so soft. Oh, stunner. It's so tangly. But I've seen other people's and once it once it's tamed, like once it's all like brushed and stuff, it looks gorgeous. This brush is not working out for me. Mm-hmm. I think it's gorgeous. This is really pretty hair. Honestly, I don't know if this is like my favorite hair colour for her. Like I don't know if I would have chosen this hair colour for her or if I would have made it a little bit more simple, just because she has so many colors going on in her hair. Three colors is kind of a lot for me, personally, with hair color. I I feel like her blonde is like very yellow blonde, um, and then she's got the blue in it, and she's got the purple. It's kind of a lot going on at once. Um, I don't know if I would have chosen all of this. Um, because also, and her skin tone's pink. Like, it's not like, um, it's not like yellow, blue, and purple is her entire color scheme it's like and pink also and then I put in black and white <laughs> okay this half's a brush you can kind of see where it's going it's going to be like oh she's so pretty guys I'm so happy I have her she's stunning also the length hello gorgeous oh she's gonna be gorgeous I can't wait to put her on a doll stand where should she go I also haven't planned that where should I put her? She definitely has to go on display. I think maybe that box over there, like in front of the Victoria's Secret bag next to um the Mycene girl. Yes, that would make sense because down there are my Monster High dolls. So she'll be upstairs from the Monster High dolls, but also near the aerials, but near the Mycene dolls. Yeah. Look at the like different halves, brushed versus not brushed. She's a frizzy gal. 
she had box hair. Not too much hair is coming out. I've seen other people complain that like they lose a decent amount of hair. Um, mine's been okay. This is like the more purple half. I don't know if I prefer the purple or the blue in her hair because I honestly like the purple colour and I would be more likely to have the purple myself rather than the blue. But the purple isn't referenced anywhere else in her clothing. So the purple kind of is like a standalone bit of a wild card colour for me um, compared to the rest of her tones and stuff. It's a bit random. I wouldn't re-root her though. As much as I'm like these colours in her hair are random, I think that they're pretty. I think I can make it work and also... Um, the effort to reroute is too much when her hair is of like such a nice quality anyway and is so like beautiful and long. So I am going to keep her. I'm like looking in the hairbrush to see how much of her hair has come out. But it's mostly my hair in here. A bit of the blue did come out though, but it's not a big deal. <laughs> I am very excited to take her to the beach and take... This sounds really odd, but like I've seen people take photos of her at the beach with the translucence of her legs really on display with like the sun shining through her legs. And I think that's really pretty and I love the way that looks. So I would like to take pics of her at the beach too. I'm excited to do that this summer. It's not really often that I take dolls out with me anymore, especially not to like the beach or something, but I think that it'll be pretty for Laguna. And um, I also really want to take my um, Mango Tiki Wiki Lala Loopsy doll to the beach. I think it should be cute there for a photo shoot. I wish I could go everywhere with my dolls, like for each one and like take them to the best place for a themed shoot for each of them. But be a lot of effort and I don't know if I could be bothered or if my dolls would even like care no they'd probably appreciate it I don't know maybe I'd feel embarrassed I'm not really the kind of person to feel embarrassed though if I like want to take my doll somewhere I used to take my um Barbie with me like heaps of places I even took it with me to school when I was in high school um and I was not embarrassed like I literally didn't care I thought she was a sleigh oh my gosh she's beautiful now imagine Oh, but I like her hair wavy like this now that I've put a bit of, like, conditioner in it. She might even stay like this. No, I do really like the sleekness of, like, her with straight hair, though. Oh, but this is kind of like, like, you know, like beachy waves. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, it's kind of fun like this. No, it's too big. It is too big. It's too much for me. I, I would like it to be, like, a little bit more flat, which is because she does have so much hair. Wow, she's gorgeous. I love her. Um, I hope you liked my restyle. I had a lot of fun doing it, and I'm really stoked with the way it came out. I love Laguna so much. She's my favourite from G3. Um, Laguna's always been one of my favourites, but um, a lot of the other dolls that used to be my favourites didn't translate as well into G3, and Laguna's one that I did like the way she turned out. My other, So my top three favourites for G1 are Claudine, Draculaura, and Laguna. Um, and then probably next after that would be like, um, Venus Flytrap. I really like Cleo as a base doll for like redesigns and stuff. And then I also like Rebecca Steen. Um, but the thing is with those guys is like, I don't know, Claudine, she looks too like childish for me in the reboot. I just don't really like her screening as much anymore. Um, Draculaura, something about her face again, or maybe it's her hair, something about Draculaura, facially really puts me off although I really like a new body type and I do like um both Claudine and Draculaura's new outfits more um the actual doll themselves each of them doesn't resonate with me also Claudine's hair with a little I know you can change her hair but like I don't like the proper polypropylene hair and I don't like the hairstyle that it comes in I don't know something about those dolls didn't resonate but I knew that Laguna restyled would be gorgeous the other dolls that I do like from G3 because I'm not a G3 hater honestly like it it's just its own thing I think um oh my gosh the other things that I like from G3 I actually really think Cleo is very beautiful um seeing her in real life I was kind of like wow wow she's actually really gorgeous and I've been thinking about getting her for a restyle but um I don't know if I want to do that because then I'd get a bunch of G3 dolls and be like restyling them and, like settle down I thought you know what I definitely want Laguna so I'll just start with Laguna and if I really want I can always go back and find a Cleo at a later date um, I've just seen leaks so far and like some of the first images of Twyla from the Creepover line. Oh my god, I didn't love Twyla in the original. Not that I disliked Twyla or anything. She just wasn't like one of my faves. Twyla in G3 is better than G1 Twyla. I love the way this doll looks. I am very much exerting self-control over myself, telling myself I don't need her because like I really want the focus just to be on Laguna. Kind of the way that I only have one Mycene doll. I kind of was thinking like, Oh, I'll just have one G3 doll. Like, just dip my toe 
in but not really like dive in Twyla and Cleo are kind of saying do it but like no guys I, I can't collect every doll ever and like yeah I don't know there's there's a lot coming out right now and um a lot of it's very exciting but I'm very happy to have Laguna for now um, and I'm actually, as soon as this video ends, I'm going to just hop over and boil, wash her hair so that it can dry and so that she can have nice hair tonight. So I can look at her from bed and be like, wow, I love the way it all came out. The tones tie in so nicely. I'm, I know I just keep ranting, but I think she's really cute. Anyway, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, if you have any tips on like other things that you think Laguna would look good in, um, let me know. Tag me on Instagram in any Laguna Blue restyles. I love Laguna restyles. I think they're gorgeous. I'm thinking maybe even with her like money pieces, I might tie them behind her head to give it more of a sleek look. I don't know. I, I do like the waviness, but like I want a bit of sleekness for her instead. Oh, I'm so torn because it's pretty. I can always add waviness in later. Like I can always recurl her hair and like make it a bit neater as well. Mm, I love her. She's beautiful. Anyway, if you like this video, you know what to do. You can give it a big thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Um, subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and um, yeah I'm just so happy about Laguna I keep ranting but I need to go give her a boil wash and do my assignment now so thanks for watching I'll catch you next time bye